The term of our lecture is the prospects of development of ICT. The plan of lecture is the prospects of development in the sphere of the IT market, development of the free software, forming on an ecosystem of IT, of entrepreneurship, and support small startup of the companies. Then the next programs of acceleration and incubation. <clears throat> and the third is the development of necessary infrastructure for electronic payments and logistics. And the last one is the prospects of development of e-technologies. At first, um, we can talk about prospects of development in the sphere of the IT market. The free software, free software where users have rights on its installation, startup, free use, study, dissemination and change and distribution of copies and results of any changes. If the software has exclusive rights, the freedom are declared using the free license. Is a free and free software. CPO can be used to obtain and usually free. And however, freeware is usually distributed as executables without source code is proprietary and to be free. Response must be available in source code from which you can create executable files together with the appropriate license. Due to the fact that the word sale and called the original sale and distribution of copies for the money and paid license, some still believe free software is a subset of the free. Often, distinguish between free and open source software also, the availability of source code for the CPO is required and many open programs are both free. The choice of the name is often associated with the language and purpose of vacancy or openings. The free software movement began in 1983 when Richard Stallman formed the idea of having freedom to use the software users. In 1985, Stallman founded the Free Software Foundation to provide organizational strategy to promote their ideas. The programs of acceleration and incubation. Accelerator is a company that business of which is to help other companies. Accelerators make the receipt of shares in the company and the subsequent sale of the stake to so often work in conjunction with the venture fund. For example, the accelerator received a share in the amount of 10% of the project and the project went through the acceleration program has grown to become a significant player in the market. To obtain residence status for the incubation program, small businesses must meet the requirements. Be registered as a legal entity or individual entrepreneur, and the financial insurance services, and retail and wholesale trade, building, medical services, catering, real estate transactions, production of sable goods, production and sale of materials, and gambling. Du during the implementation of the incubation program, provided office space or workplace and end up consulting services on business issues. Development of necessary infrastructure of electronic payments and logistics. 
Nowadays, we use a logistics. It's the management and optimization of information flows that arise in the supply chain management of products from producer to consumer. And the uh, logistics a study of current trends in development of logis logistics management uh, logistics and the mastery of techniques and approaches in designing and managing the supply chain using modern information, communication, and the computer technology. Nowadays, we use our payment systems. Payment systems, it's a set of pursuit Procedures enabling the transfer of funds. Mm -hmm. It is generally understood that through payment systems, money is transferred. If we approach translation from a legal point of view, in most cases, there is a transfer of debts. Means that the payment system should one of the customers. It becomes must to another client. Payment systems are a sub Institute for cash transactions in the implementation of domestic and international payments and is one of the basic services provided by banks and other specialized financial institutions. And the prospects of development of electronic technologies. The state program Information Kazakhstan 2020, the of the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan dated 1 February 2010. The number 1922 Strategic Plan of Development of Kazakhstan till 2020. The purpose of the program, creation of conditions for transition to basic information society. Program objectives, the development of it, ensure that availability availability of information and communication infrastructure, automation of the activities of state bodies and the service, open governments, the development of domestic information space. Then the electronic commerce benefits and costs of firms in developing countries are to benefit from the implementation of B2B electronic commerce. B2B, it's mean business to business. There must only be a reduction in the technological aspects of digital devices. There is also a need for improved institutional arrangement to support firms' participation in international trade. Most studies of the potential of it, ICTs for developing countries focus on the indigenous constraints with which firms located in these countries must content. <laughs>